What is up, legendary gamers of the internet? Uh, we are back in some more do, 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 b, 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 PT attached notes. So for these, those of you bleh, words, I'm just vomit words. Oh my good lord, Jiminy Crockett, dude. I mean, this is still pretty epic, but my god. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, uh, basically what's going on is. <laughs> You guys don't have the Shadow Hunter update on consoles yet. I, I'm not laughing at that fact. I think, like, I'm laughing in terms of, like, why? You know, like, why don't you have it yet? And there's already another update on the test server for PC that's right around the corner. You guys might even have... It might be one of those updates. Like, the Shadow Hunter update might come out for you guys along with this update as well which would be weird but we've seen that happen before the nintendo switch version of trove ended up getting like all of the updates all at once but either way today we're going to be focusing on the patch notes themselves uh i do have some footage of some of the items that we will end up talking about uh as you can see there is a glitch on the test server where you can constantly buy uh certain items out of the cash shop namely paragon pinatas and uh boy howdy does it drain frames like this this right here this is a realistic scenario. Like throwing down this many pinatas is entirely possible if somebody ended up spending like a crap ton of money on the pinatas or whatever. My point is, this is something that should seriously be addressed by the developers because pinatas themselves, like it's loading each and every single entity and it doesn't like deal with clutter well. This is actually a, 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 an issue that lots of club worlds had dealt with at one point in time where people were sneaking into club worlds, throwing down pinatas in specific areas, uh, and then basically it would just drain frame rate and so much so to the point that um, these club worlds became unplayable. I know because it ended up happening to our club world at one point or another. So anyways, uh, the actual update is going to end up being Bomber Royale Season 3, which the headline for this update the official headline at least it's self-aware says um uh, where is it it says the update nobody asked for but you got anyways that's a joke obviously they didn't end up having that but it's entirely true because my god didn't anybody ask for this what like two of you in the comments <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. So anyways, um, the Bomber Royale Season 3 includes four different maps, as you can actually kind of see them right here. Let me let me see if I can load into a new hub uh, instance. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Uh, but there's going to end up being four different maps. So these are two of them just as a small little prop. And then here's the other two. Uh, I'll end up inserting footage of what the maps end up looking like. They're pretty cool, but generally speaking, we still don't have custom maps uh, which means I could care less, you know, these are developer maps, uh, which means that even though they're fun, they're not as great as some modded maps that I've seen, like that players end up building. Like, I don't know why they don't include maps that players have made because there is some serious good ones, dude. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's get into the patch notes themselves. So there's going to end up being three new power-ups added uh, in the bomber, which is going to be the Critter Bomb, which is a cage bomb that bounces once and then releases a bunch of critters that end up attacking opponents. I will try my best to include footage of each of these bombs because I think I have footage of them, but otherwise, if I do not, then I'm sorry about that. Uh, and you can refer to my Trove stream from a couple days ago uh, where we ended up actually playing around with this update uh, for a couple hours. Uh, so there's the Trap Bomb. That one I really, really like, where basically you throw down a trap and then if it stays down forever until a player interacts with it and then it'll end up exploding next to them, which is pretty nice. Uh, this trap behaves like a sticky bomb and obtaining one will overwrite the other. So basically you can only have either sticky bomb or trap, only one or the other. Uh, there is, I don't know if I would say that it's an issue right now. I actually think that it's personally a lot of fun, but I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up getting patched out where you can put down seemingly an infinite amount of these trap blocks uh, and they'll just stay there forever. So you could literally, like what I ended up doing, which I thought was really funny, was I went underneath a map and then I slowly just started trapping the entirety of the bottom uh, until I ended up getting discovered. And I, I mean, I ended up killing a couple people, but I, then I ended up exploding. Then there's the energy power up, which uh, single use refills all your energy to 100%. This completes the, uh, it competes with the health power up. So it's one or the other, doesn't really matter. 
Players can no longer interact with objects by pressing the uh, E button on PC anyways, or whatever it is on console, I think. I think it's the left middle button. Uh, either way, what you could normally do in Bomber, which was kind of cheaty, is you could pick up the items uh, from a distance. So you could be further away from the bomb or from the item than somebody else, but you could pick it up before they interacted with it. So now they've changed that. So you have to touch, you have to come in contact with the bomb itself uh, or with the item itself. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see if we can end up finally going into another hub. Nope, still not. Whatever, we just had bad frame rate today. Uh, the Bomber Royale now has a queue as well, which uh, I'm sorry that uh, this egg mod is messing with a couple things over here. So basically, it's the same as Delves. Uh, basically, I would press E on this, uh, and then you can see... Okay, well, you can see I got video effects on my head, and then I got this icon, which is probably pending, uh, and then I would be able to go into other adventure worlds and so on and so forth and just kind of parry, uh, you know, go about my business. Uh, and then eventually it would end up pulling me into a bomber match when it was ready. So uh, players can also queue into both Delves and Bomber at the same time. And then essentially what's going to happen is whichever queue comes up first is going to hijack the queue. So if you end up getting into a Delves uh, before you end up getting into Bomber, it means that that would end up disabling the queue that you had for bomber it's not like you would go to the delves and then you get pulled out into the bomber or anything uh, after dying in a match players can rejoin the queue and spectate the others in the meantime uh, before the queue ends up triggering with those same people that were in the round okay cool um one thing that i do feel i need to address because a lot of you guys were actually asking me uh when i was streaming the bomber is if you guys didn't know, they actually removed the experience that you could get towards your character level in Bomber uh, a couple updates ago, which is <laughs> ironically why Bomber died, because there was a ton of bots essentially going in Bomber uh, to level up their characters so that they would get various rewards and then they would sell it on illegal websites, right? They could sell flux or whatever you end up getting out of just leveling up your characters or even just selling accounts, whatever, right? Um, that's neither here nor there. I could care less about that. But the advantage of having all of those bots in Barmer meant that you could always find a match. And one of the issues that I have with this update is the fact that they're pushing uh, something that not only doesn't have anything related to the cash shop, there's no monetization uh, for the Bomber Royale, which I personally do disagree with. I think that they should have some pay to win method in there or some paid content uh, because you got to think that I'm I'm thinking in terms of Trove's success. Uh, and I feel like that this is kind of a wasted update, even though, you know, I know that there's free to play players that are just yelling at me and cringing at me and typing in the comments. That's stupid. But you gotta think that if this update isn't going to generate them any money then what was the point in them developing it because that's just it's very risky uh in terms of like <laughs> trove's development cycle because as soon as trove becomes unprofitable game ago is just gonna turn off the servers like that okay like there's there's no question about it so it's just it's a risky update, especially for something that people just generally don't care that much about. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm a hater on Bomber Royale or anything like that. I think that Bomber is actually a lot of fun. I just really wish that we had custom matches where we could play uh, on our own maps and so on and so forth and still earn rewards. Uh, because generally speaking, you could argue, okay, well, they, they ended up getting rid of the XP, so now there's no bots in Bomber, but it means that there's barely any players in Bomber, at least on the test server. When it comes to the live server, it will end up spiking for a little while, and there's going to be a lot of people playing it. But the problem is, and this is a, a, a perpetual issue that happens with a lot of Trove updates, is that once you end up getting all of the items that give you mastery out of Season 3 Bomber, there's not really much incentive to continue playing Bomber Royale after that, right? And that's kind of a very big problem that Trove is facing with a lot of its updates is as soon as you end up getting all the items out of it, there's not really any incentive to keep playing, especially now that there's no player experience, which I'm not saying player experience should go back into Bomber. I'm just trying to get a point across that this update in general, though cool, is kind of fruitless, uh, you know, but... Anyways, I'm sorry to interrupt uh, the patch notes video uh, talking about my opinion and all that stuff. Uh, private Bomber Royale matches are now a thing, which is awesome, but you don't gain rewards, so there's not much point in doing it, but whatever. You can obtain uh, gateways for private Bomber matches from the Bomber bench. Unfortunately, these portals actually cost uh, Bomber tokens themselves, which 
kind of sucks because it means that in order to play private matches with your friends, you have to play public matches, which is never a good thing uh, just in any game in general. Like, I I'd love to play private matches with you guys, frankly speaking, even if we don't end up getting any rewards. But at the same time, I have the mentality of why would I end up doing this if I'm not benefiting from it, right? Like... Private matches in Bomber would kind of be an after the fact, like, okay, well, I've got everything out of Bomber, uh, now I can just play uh, in private matches with you guys. But even then, we're not playing on custom maps, so why wouldn't we just play public? Uh, anyways, the games don't count towards the leaderboard stats or give blast coins, whatever. Uh, after placing a matchmaker portal, players can interact with it to join a queue. You can end up forcing the round to start uh, with uh, 2 to 20 players, it depends. After dying in a private match, players can spectate or be returned to their starting world. So that means that uh, you don't get to just keep playing private matches. It means that you would constantly have to be crafting these portals, which kind of sucks. I mean, at least you can choose the map, uh, it seems like anyways. Like the dojo, obviously. I want to go to that one all the time. But anyways, whatever. Uh, so Bomber Royale Rewards, this is the big chunk of the update. So new temporary Golden Bomber Royale Bomb styles have been added to the leaderboards for players in the top 100 for kills, games won, uh, and direct damage dealt in Bomber Royale. Cool that they actually have something tied to the leaderboard. Uh, decoration banners have also been added to the leaderboard for various uh, rewards, you know, kills, games won, direct damage, dealt, uh, blah, blah, blah. All previous season rewards are now available for burnt coins so this is actually probably the best uh you know part of this update is that we don't have season one and season two tokens anymore instead we just have an across the board uh expired tokens like the burned token so you can use that to craft all of the previous year's stuff uh, and it is a one by one ratio so you can exchange your season three tokens for the burnt tokens which is nice um they also have uh the the two tomes that were in the game already are actually being replaced with um basically you'll end up having one tome gives you burnt tokens and then the other tome that normally gave you the season two tokens is going to end up instead giving you season three tokens so it's always going to end up giving you the newest tokens it seems uh, the bomber bench has also been reorganized all previous rewards are now in the burnt coins so you can see there's tons and tons of items you can end up crafting out of all of this stuff uh, which we'll get into momentarily but there's going to end up being uh, two new allies added for burnt coins so if we go to the burnt coins rewards you can see that there's actually uh, this ally and this ally right here uh, which I don't have them crafted I'll, I'll eventually have a video that shows you all of the items out of the bomber season 3 or just bomber in general but it's gonna take me a while to do so so if any of you guys end up uh when this update goes live you end up getting some of these items it, you could help me out you know and we could collab i could end up recording uh or taking a screenshot of you with one of the new items uh, and then i could slowly compile that together to make a video for everybody to see all of the different items that you can get but these are all the new things. So the burnt uh, coins is just old stuff. Just for some weird reason, they added two old, new allies in the old section. I don't know why. Uh, there's also going to end up being new cycling weekly items. So you can see that this, for example, is a weekly Bound Brilliance that you can purchase, uh, which is not bad, actually. Uh, same with the experience po uh, potion, the ally up. It seems that you can just buy this as many times as you want. But these are going to cycle out, I think. Or maybe it's this that cycles out. Either way, it cycles out for Bound Brilliance, Crystallized Cores, Builder's Focus, and stuff like that, Trophy and Loops. Some of the stuff can end up being pretty good, but generally speaking, I think most of it's probably going to end up being pretty bad. Um, there's also going to end up being a bunch of new things for the Blast Coins. So there's mounts, uh, wings, allies, and uh, bomb skins. There's also going to end up being hat and weapon auras, which you can see these are extremely expensive. So it's going to take a long time to get all of these out of here. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll see what ends up happening with it. But generally speaking, it's like it's not the greatest update, uh, generally. Uh, so for, there is going to end up being a new dragon, though. So the way that this works is you're going to have to <laughs> you have to craft the fragments and then you use those fragments to craft the dragon egg. And then you use those the egg to craft the full on dragon. I do have some footage of what the dragon looks like. It's pretty cool. But my God, it's going to take a lot of hours uh, of just dedicated Bomber Royale to get just the dragon on top of all of these other things, which 
Yeah. Uh, anyways, there's also going to end up being some stuff unrelated to Bomber. Uh, we'll kind of just, you know, I'm just going to show you these really, really quickly. These are going to end up being those tables that we saw upstairs that kind of give you a sneak peek preview of what the levels look like. Uh, the burnt to uh, tokens. Here's the converting. So thankfully, I can actually convert uh, most of my tokens over, which is kind of nice just because I don't know why it says I don't have any season two tokens because clearly I had a lot more than... Uh, Oh, never mind. I got like 450 now. Okay. So it converted them all over time. Uh, but anyways, you know, that's the stuff that you end up getting out of the bomber. There's also going to end up being earn a bomber royale coin as a, you know, daily quest that you can end up doing. I don't know how many times you can do it. And then there's this idiot right here, which still buys stuff for arena tokens, which don't ask me about the PVP. It's basically been removed from the game, unfortunately, even though I actually found it to be a lot of fun. There's also going to end up being some new dungeons. Uh, which they've added uh, to the other uber worlds. There's one of them that's been added to the geode surface, which, eh, you know, is not really that big of a deal. But uh, I, I personally wish that they would add a lot more to the geode surface because I feel there's just barely any variety in those dungeons. But either way, it's still cool to end up adding new, some new dungeons to the game. Uh, we did end up discovering most of them in the live stream that I had mentioned earlier where we were playing through this update. And generally speaking, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, I really like the new dungeons. There's also going to end up being a whole bunch of new styles added to the game, whether it be weapons or helmets and stuff like that. Uh, there is, if I can see recently acquired, uh, there's going to end up being a bunch of new helmets, which I really, really like. These are uh, kind of more uh, beast helmets again. So we've got this crazy cursed horse. We got this guy, this guy, this one. This one, this, an axolotl from Minecraft, basically. We got this, a pretty bird, whatever that abomination is, although it is beautiful. And then this guy right here, that's gonna be the animal mask, not to say that there isn't other styles. Uh, and then the other biggest part of this update is knockback being, uh, well, changing. Personally, I don't know why they don't just remove it from the game. Uh, but anyways, they say that no matter how much stability was obtained by a player, nearly all damage hits would still knock them back a tiny amount. These changes are so that... Okay, anyways, they're making it so that a few of the classes are going to end up having stability as a base starting stat on the class that is slowly going to level up as you level up the class. Uh, and then knockback will also coincide with your maximum amount of health so by having high stability and high health you will get knocked back less and less and less and i have seen that there are certain attacks that will not knock me uh you know they don't move me anymore which on one hand is really nice on the other hand uh there is a little bit of a discrepancy there is a little bit of a problem with it because one of the things that old school players such as myself ended up doing with trove uh is for speed farming in particular you would actually basically pretend this is a ranged enemy right we would actually jump in the air and use his attacks on me to do that and knock me away right so you can end up using that to effectively uh get a little bit of an, uh, a boost right but you can see their base attacks aren't knocking me around and anymore which is nice it seems to only be like their power attacks so okay whatever but uh, basically they're just changing knockback uh frankly speaking i don't i don't know why they have this weird balance between like i'd rather they just outright remove knockback because it just it's not benefiting anybody uh and then there's a couple additional changes so they did mention that they broke uh some of the hat style section for each of the classes for whatever reason um they fixed issues preventing patrons from properly getting uh crafting speed bonus um new sigil wings have been added to the game for people that are 850 mastery and up so that's like barely any players have that like maybe 10 percent of them which okay cool the image actually looks terrible it looks like a jpeg image um there's also going to end up being the yeah new dragon uh, or no not a new dragon one of the old dragons from bomber you can now get out of a dragon effigy which is kind of annoying for people like me that ended up grinding the dragon but hey whatever they always do stuff like that bomber skins have been changed and so on and so forth it's not really anything super duper big to end up mentioning in the additional changes but uh, that's going to end up doing it so hopefully you found this video helpful and uh interesting enough i don't know what do you guys think of the update am i being too harsh on it frankly speaking i could care less you know this is not an update that's going to turn any heads uh, I don't feel that they even needed to work on Bomber because I don't feel like Bomber was enough of a problem that it needed to be updated. 
and I most definitely feel that bomber was not something interesting enough for them to bother updating. Like it just, I don't know, dude, but okay, whatever. We'll, we'll wait and see what ends up happening. Uh, as far as on the test server, I'm not going to end up going out of my way to grind all of this stuff. I'm going to wait until it goes to the live server. At least we got some more cursed animal heads like this horse one, which I do adore. Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash like sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. And have yourselves a wonderful day and uh, happy Easter.